this, these are the, the value attributes and the data type attributes and the array size attributes are those attributes that I put, it, put in bold in the picture earlier. Because these are the, 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 the attributes that are coming from the EDD. This is so, this is not so different from UA right here, from VA, sorry. <coughs> you are getting a value and a timestamp and something, and there is no difference until now. But the uh, things start to get interesting when we are going to see, for instance, uh, bit enum enumerated variables. Uh, the, 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 the value of the, 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 the parameter is a bit mask. If you are in the DA world, what you are going to see? Just a number. You, don't, you have to go to the ADD and look what, what the, the first bit means, what the second bit means, what the third bit means. With the with UA and the EDDL information model, all this information is supplied to every OPC UA client in a, in, using the base services and the base nodes. So the, 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 the data variable holds the, the, value, the decimal value for the bit mask. Here I don't have any bit set. But the, 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 the what is interesting is are, are these other variables. These are all the bits from the bit mask. Here it's saying that I have one bit that gives the state of the block configuration, for instance. If you go to this variable, you go to the ADD and you get a description of this bit. You're, you're, the, the ADD is saying, this bit is, say, is telling you if there is an error, error detecting the block. And it, it goes uh, in a similar way for all the, the, the bits. Okay. So it's easy to, to a, a UPC, UPC a cl cl basic client to get all the information and don't have a number only as you have in the DA world. <coughs> Sorry. There is a, a, another type of variables a parameter, sorry. There are not the bit enumerated ones, are the enumerated ones. How these variables, how these parameters work in EDD? You can, they can only assume some discrete variables. It's like enumeration in C++ or C. So when I, I ask for the value of the data variable, it's very interesting because I'm not getting the value that the device is supplying. The, the device is supplying me 100. That makes no sense for, for me if I don't have access to the ADD. But in this case, the information model tells me not to give the, the, the value to the client. Give the description. It's easy. It, it takes a lot of, uh, removes a lot of complex, complexity in the client because before in the DA world, clients had to take the value from the network, go to the ADD file, match each other, see which value matches which description, and show the description to, to the operator in the HMI, for instance. But now the server, in a standardized way, is able to do this. <coughs> that is also a, another variable, and this variable is giving me the actual value in the device. So, uh, if I need a value, I have the value. If I just need to show the description for, for in the HMI, just read the data variable. And besides that, I need to represent all variables, all, all possible values of the enumeration in the address space. So these are the, all the possible enumeration values that this parameter sensor type for the temperature transmitter allows. There are a lot of sensor, different sensor types, and I can go to each sensor type and see wh which is the value that represents that, that sensor. So this is useful for writing, because uh, I will not write a string. The operator is not going to write, I want a, a PT100EC. He's going to write the value. So with all the enumerations exposed in the address space, I am able to look what I want to to, to, to write as the sensor type, and the server is going to send that device, and whenever it comes back, it's going to make the conversion back to me. <coughs> I just 
missed some, the last thing here. Uh, I, I didn't show you the verb, the, the attributes for the device. Uh, we have here, uh, as shown here earlier, the, 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 the serial number, the information model says, please supply the, the serial number for the, for the, the, the client for tracking reasons or whatever you can, you can use a, a serial number for instance. And the browse name, uh, this is not so useful, but I'm just showing how the information model is going to detail every attribute that you have to fill from the ADD. The ADD says, the, the, the information model says, please put here the, the, as the browse name, the device identifier. This is a unique identifier that takes into consideration the, the company that made the device and the, the device revision. And, yeah. and this is the, the, the tag that I, the, the network driver was able to, able to give me from the, from the network. So this was just a quick demonstration of how the EDD information model can be useful to us in the future. And that's it. Uh, I'm just gonna get to the slides. Uh, any questions on the demo, on some considerations? Uh, if I want to see the display of the instrument on my client, is uh, that functionality supported? For instance, uh, sometimes you know, with the FTP, I can see the display of the instrument uh, exactly there. And that's what uh, Nestor told us earlier. Uh, the, the information model was divided in two, into two steps. And the first step is basically uh, doing that, what I, I have just shown. Pick some stage, uh, some information described in the device and make available to, to clients. In the second step, they are going to, to take into consideration uh, graphical interface, like if the FDT does. And the functionality is like to make the inventory of all the instrumentation, because it takes to the client sometimes $100,000 to make the inventory of all the instrumentation. Perhaps I could have that directly there, at least for instance a query, I want to see how many uh, smart temperature transmitter I have in my bed. You can do the, do the back carrying. The, the device type. All, all the devices have, all the devices are, are objects, and they have a object type. Each manufacturer has to define its device type, as the information model says. And you can do a carry, looking for all the, the devices from smart, for, for example. Okay, I think that only this functionality pays for the intelligent instrumentation itself. No. Making the choice, something, some very very expensive to clients. And that, that that's we can do that. Other questions? Okay. okay. Thank you, Ronaldo. Thanks. We will adjourn for lunch. Uh, lunch is back up in the mezzanine, and we'd like to have you all back by 1.30. All right? We'll get restarted that time. <laughs>